This whole situation, it's... It's impossible. My grimoire is your grimoire. At what time will we be spellcasting? Midnight-ish? The witching hour? Mm, spooky. <laughs> I love their dynamic. It's actually amazing. Better say some sorry. Oh, <laughs> I was right. That is a blood curse. Oh, it's lingering. So, untreated, that is going to eat slowly away at your healthy will and your sanity. <laughs> She's so, like, melodramatic, if that's the word, but, like, Aunties? amazing. The weird sister said something. Two. What was that? Spiders as your familiars. Ooh. Spider, oh spider, pray, why do you spin your pretty white web so fine and so thin to catch fat flies and make them into pies? Spider, oh spider, pray, do you not see? Oh my god. Run Weasley would be hating life right now. And no mercy you'll get. Shit! Oh my god. Oh, look at them all! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Okay, if you weren't scared of spiders... You would be now. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. Oh. Salem! Right, the cat! The cat's not gonna talk? Man, I wish it did. I don't understand. We very recently took things to the next level. He hasn't defiled you, has he? Which law forbids novitiates from being anything less than virginal? Oh, wow. Man, Zelda! Well, think so, I just don't know why I have to give up everything in my life that's human to do it. Which law? The path of night or the path of light, but, but not, not both. both. And yet, my father, a warlock, married my mother and she was human. Yes, and it very nearly got Edward excommunicated. And it whispers secrets to you, grants you knowledge. Sometimes I'm going to show you a glimpse of the future, should you walk the path of night or the path of light. Damn, I would need that apple. Mmm. Groovy. Groovy. And make sure there are no worms in it. That bird, he's all. What did you do? Stick pins in a voodoo doll? Well, it's like a photo in a cage of sp spiders. The Women's Intersectional Cultural and Creative Association, Wicca. Where would that be? Stalker much? If it is a witch's mark. Connie was murdered. A witch hunter? Is that possible? It might be worth bringing up to the council. Yet another reason Sabrina needs to join the Church of the Night. So she's protected. Bird's back. <gasps> oh my god. Here. Oh my god. We need to sail him out for this. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Damn. Well Some... done. Good boy. Who who sent that? <gasps> oh. Oh. 
hands on the truck. Why didn't you wait for me? How did he get through the maze so quick? Aww. Sabrina! Right here. Something's wrong. We're just creepy as fuck. Is this the child? It is, Your Excellency. This is our niece, Sabrina. Oh, my child, you have no idea how special you are to you. How you've been chosen. Sorry, do I know you? Honestly. Forgive her father, she knows not what she says. He's the high priest of the Church of Night. Dark Lord, Satan's representative on Earth. You right to tell me you're having doubts about your baptism. Let us see what I can do to convince you. There's no going back. Oh my god. That ending was like creepy, but completely hooked me. Like that last 10 minutes, I would say, was where it really picked up the pace again and just told me why I should watch this show because that was amazing. That episode, it had its pace. It built and built and built and I love how it kind of addressed each kind of day because it was kind of, it's building to that dark bat baptism, baptism and I was like under the impression that it would have occurred in that first episode but it didn't and that surprised me because I thought that would have happened straight away like that would have been something to start the series but it wasn't they're building this all this other stuff and i loved every moment i love harvey i love sabrina the actors and the characters them together and just it that's perfect the aunts are amazing helda is just like melodramatic like the way she talks and just oh my god i can't get over it and then zelda is like this like Tweety tweety type like up here like everything is like the way it is blah 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 and moody but like killer and Ambrose is like a hidden gem he's one of those characters like is there for a little bit of humor but a little bit of fun and a little bit of seriousness when it needs it and I'm obsessed with it and Salem I love that origin of Salem like the way they put it all together was amazing and that save at the end. But I'm a bit disappointed that she hasn't she isn't talking at the moment. Like Salem isn't talking, like that kind of upset me. I was like, I want Salem to talk. Uh But like that vision when she had the apple, whoa, creep fest, losing my mind. But overall I really like the episode. I loved the cinematography of this this episode and I'm sure it's gonna continue for the rest of the season, but I can't get over it, like everything witchy is in certain one way and then everything like mortal is in the other way and that's just perfect, like it just compares and contrasts both scenes and worlds and I guess that was the whole point but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and if you do want to see the rest of the season, bear in mind that it's probably going to take me some time to get the episodes filmed and edited and posted but if you're down for that, you let me know in the comments by and then liking and sharing and all that to this video so it tells me that you can do it. Um, there are two options. Your first option is for me to watch, like, have this episode up and then watch the rest of the episodes and just post, like, one for the finale and then that's it. Or I do the whole season every episode. I don't know. But, yeah. Either way, if you guys like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and make sure to click subscribe, because your support means the world. Anyway, this is all I've got, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye, witches.